Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a powerful trick that can breathe new life into your car, resetting the ECU or engine control unit. Whether you've just fixed an issue, swapped sensors, or your check engine light is acting up, this can help your vehicle relearn and run smoother. The ECU is like your car's brain. It controls fuel delivery, ignition timing, air-to-fuel ratio, idle speed, and more. Over time, it learns your driving habits and stores error codes, but sometimes that memory needs a reset. Resetting the ECU can clear stored error codes, reset fuel trims, fix idle issues, or help the car relearn new parts, like a new throttle body, MAF sensor, or O2 sensor. Let's start with the most common method, disconnecting the battery. Here's how to do it right. First, turn off your ignition and remove the key. Then, use a wrench to disconnect the negative battery terminal. Now, wait at least 10 to 15 minutes. To speed it up, you can press the brake pedal for about 10 seconds to drain any residual power. After that, reconnect the battery terminal. Finally, start the engine and let it idle for 5 to 10 minutes without touching the gas. Here's where most people stop, but this next part is key. The ECU needs to relearn. If you want the car to idle smoothly and shift correctly, follow this secret trick. Let the engine idle for 5 to 10 minutes with no accessories on. Next, Turn on your AC and let it idle again for a few more minutes. Then drive gently for 15 to 30 minutes. No flooring it, no cruise control. Let the ECU adapt to real-world inputs. Depending on your car, there are other methods too. For example, OBD2 scanner. Use the clear codes function after repairs. Fuse pull. Locate the ECU fuse in your fuse box. Pull it, wait 15 minutes, then plug it back in. And for some cars, there's the pedal dance or key cycling. Cars like Subarus or Nissans might have unique procedures, so make sure to look up your specific model. So that's how to reset your ECU and do it the right way. It's simple, but when done properly, it can make your car run smoother, idle better, and even improve fuel economy.